Okay, this is video two, uh, considering the second case of the right hand rule. And the second case of the right hand rule is uh, used to find uh, the magnetic field due to infinite straight wires. It's different when you, uh, there's another version of the right hand rule, which would be the subject of the third video uh, for circular wires. Now, um, suppose you have a wire coming um, out of uh, the page. If this is the XY plane, it's coming towards the ceiling. I'm going to use this uh, pen here to represent the direction of the wire, the current, and the direction of the pen cap. I don't know if you can see it very well here, but this is the pen cap here. Represent the direction of the current flow. It's coming towards the ceiling. For this version of the right hand rule, you take your thumb and you point it in the direction of the current flow. This direction, in this case up. Whatever way your hands naturally curl, give you a direction of the magnetic field line around the current. So in this case here, it's counterclockwise going around the current in a circular fashion. So if you draw it in the plane, uh, one, mag one magnetic loop looks like this. Basically going uh, counterclockwise around it, right? That's the way your hand scroll. And that gives you the direction how the magnetic field lines loop around uh, infinite straight wires. Now suppose you have the case where the um, current is going into the plane, where the current is going towards the floor, or the pen cap is facing the floor. Uh, for this case here, it would be an X. Um, and once again, you point your fingers, uh, your thumb, not your fingers, your thumb in the direction of the, of the cap, or the direction of the current, and whatever way your uh, hands twist around, your fingers twist around gives you the direction of the magnetic field, which in this case would go like this around the current. Let's see if I can draw. So it would be like this. Basically in a clockwise fashion. Now another question that comes up is, suppose I wanted to find the field at a certain point around the current. Uh, I just don't want the general idea. I want at a certain point, either here or here, what direction is the magnetic field going? Okay, to answer this question, suppose this is an XY plane, right? And, and the current is right at the origin here. And I'm asking, say you want to find the field over here, at this point here, a point on the positive x-axis here, this point here. All right. Well, the field goes around like this. We got it from the right-hand rule. We just did that. It was the first thing we did. So as you come around and you get to this point here, at this point, the field is basically going up. It's, a, it's in a direction that's sort of tangential to the path of the circle, but you're also coming around like this, so it'd be up. Right. So the field at this point here would be up in the positive y direction. Suppose you do the same thing for this one. Okay, and you want to find the field at a point on the negative y-axis, so the, the field here. Well, for this, by the right-hand rule, you curve it around like this, so when you get to this point here on the negative y-axis, the field is basically going like this in the negative x direction. And that's how you get those, uh, that was on the quiz, um, the direction of the field at a point on the positive y-axis, something like that, above the charge. Uh, current coming out of the plane in the positive direction. It was like that, negative y direction. Negative x direction, sorry. Okay, so that's uh, if the current's coming uh, in, no, sorry, in or out of the plane. What if the current's in the plane, maybe going left or right or something like that, in the plane? Well, let's uh, see how that works. So suppose it's going to the right. Once again, you point your uh, thumb in the direction of I, which is this, like this, and uh, the way your hands curl um, gives you the direction of the magnetic field. So I hear my hands curl out above, if you do this, your hands curl out, you see, above the wire, and they curve in below the wire. So the magnetic field lines, by the, how your hands curl, go like this. They come in, out and then go in and then loop around, come out, go in, come out, go in. 
So basically above it, it's out, but below it, it's in. And that's how that works for that case. And you can orient this any way you want. It still does the same thing. In other words, suppose you have a current going up the plane. Well, you do the same thing. Okay, so you, you point your uh, thumb in the direction of I, in the direction of the cap here, and your hands curl out to the left. It's tough to do in, at this angle that I'm at, but your hands curl out to the, to the left of the wire, of the pen, and then come in, and then they go around and curl in to the right. Right? They go out, in. So they go out, in, out, in. So that means that everywhere to the left, it's in the positive Z, in the XY plane, everyone everywhere to the right is in the negative Z. That's basically it for the second case of the right hand rule. It only applies to infinite straight wires. The last video about the last case, which applies to circular wires, which is actually even easier than this case.